Yo, what's going on guys? RPA here using that max power return on YouTube as usual and today we are back with some more Pokemon Showdown, another live session. I think we're gonna play some RU today. Yeah, in fact, yeah, let's, we're gonna play RU today. So uh, it's the only, like, I'm gonna be real with you guys, like I was just bored so I was like, you know what, I haven't done Pokemon in a minute so I'm gonna do that. But I'm very bored with like OU and getting there with Yu Yu. I don't know, I don't know if they did anything about the Crowdout test yet, so if Crowdout came back, then I'll go back to playing Yu Yu, but other than that, uh, well, you know what? The tier shifted and I haven't really done much there, so maybe that, but I'm definitely not going to be playing OU again for a little while, and uh, so you'll be seeing RU and NU spam whenever you see Showdown, for the most part, but moving away from all that, so we're going to be playing RU. I made this team about a month ago, I, if not longer, so um, Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and leave this. Alright, so, looking at my squad for a second here. So we have uh, Rhyperior, Rhyperior, ha, I'm funny. Uh, with Leftover, Solid Rock, Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Rock Blast, and Ice Punch. Ice Punch is for, what was it for again? Don't remember. It was something I couldn't hit with Earthquake and Rock Blast very well. It escapes me at the moment, but um, I forgot it entirely. It was something really, it wasn't like, it was, yeah, it was something specific, I don't know. Oh, Flygon, there we go. That was Ice Punch for. Flygon, in particular, just does not, doesn't take any damage from Earthquake and Rock Blast doesn't do as much, so Ice Punch is there to take care of it if I'm not able to take care of it with anybody else on the team. Pretty sure I've got three mods, if not, four mods that are all capable of taking care of it, but, you know, it's there, just in case I'm in a, in a 1v1 uh, situation. Flygon's not really going to isn't going to take me out with Earthquake, especially with Solid Rock and the amount of defense that Rhyperior possesses and the fact that I have 248 HP invested, so it's it's for the 1v1 situation like that. So uh, finishing off the core, we have Mega Obama Snow, Soundproof before Mega Evolution, uh, Blizzard, Giga Drain, Ice Shard, and Earthquake, so uh, this is a standard set. Uh, Rhyperior and Obama Snow work very, very well together because Obama Snow uh, covers that water weakness, whereas Rhyperior covers that fire weakness that um, Obama Snow has, and the rock weakness as well. So, and the flying weakness. So, they complement each other incredibly well. So, it's very nice. Oh, and Obama Snow takes care of the grass and water weakness. You know what? You get the point. I'm kind of out of it right now as far as Pokemon goes. This is going to be a two part session, by the way, uh, just because. I'm very tired. It's the day after Christmas, so it's just, uh, I'm not really feeling up to anything right now, but I feel like I owe it to you guys, plus I actually felt like playing some Mons again, so I was like, you know what, might as well record it, get something out of it, so let's do it. Uh, next up, we have featuring Pitbull, the Gramble, my patented name. Nobody else uses this, so just letting you know. Hopefully no one else uses this. I would be really upset if somebody stole this. But uh, Play Rough, Earthquake, Heal Bell, and Roar. I originally had Thunder Wave, but Roar just seems to be so much better right now. Especially with um, the fact that I think Granville came up with plus one from a DD, uh, D a plus one DD head smash from, I don't know if, well, wouldn't it just get to plus zero? I don't know. I was thinking about Tyrantrum setting up. Uh, basically, it phases out. It takes a hit and phases out basically any sweeper in the game and are you for the most part uh, so it's really it's good it's nice utility to have roar heal bell is good for getting rid of status especially because I have a gold bat on the team who uh, well okay it's not really for gold bat but it's mainly for like Meloetta and for Rhyperior it allows them to do things later on. Speaking of Meloetta, we have Christina, the Meloetta Assault Vest, Serene Grace, Hyper Voice, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, and Focus Blast with... Uh, I said Assault Vest already, didn't I? Oh lord, this is going to be a fun session. Uh, max Special Attack, Max Speed with a Positive Nature. I do not remember why I ran Max Attack, Max Special Attack, Max Speed. Normally I do some HP investment, but it had to be a good reason, so... Uh, <laughs> Oh boy, this is going to be great. So next up we have Nom the Gold. Why did they? Why did they freeze the sprite there? I don't get it. But a Nom the Gold Bat with Eviolite, Infiltrator, Brave Bird, Defog, Roost, and Super Fang. Infiltrator, what was it for? I do not remember. In fact, matter of fact, I think it might actually be in my better interest, better interest, to have air focus because of uh, things like Ambi Palm and whatnot. And last but not least, we have Timothy, the Jolteon, with Choice Specs, Volt Absorb, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, HP Water for um, uh, two Chaos uh, Mega Steelix, and Signal Beam, which is a nice little move there for like Mesprit, Yuxi, uh, the Stray Malamar, 
good stuff like that. So, this is the squad. Uh, I don't think I took much time with uh, my introduction there. So, let's get straight into battling. I don't think I've done any battles yet. Yeah, it was in suspect test last time I battled. But this does look like a pretty legitimate team, to be honest, for a low ladder. Um, let me check my ranking just to make sure. It's gonna be really disgusting because I haven't played much. Oh no, I've just I'm just oh I've only done 350 cup. Okay, four and oh two. Nice. All right. Uh, what should I lead with? I feel like he's gonna lead with his quillfish, which is actually his best option. I'm gonna lead Jolteon. There we go. So we did lead quillfish. Uh, this does allow me to volt switch out of anything on his team. Um, I don't really have anything to else. I don't really have anything to predict, so I'm just gonna volt switch straight out. As he actually is a sash quillfish, which does allow me to go into Golbat here if he wants to uh, try toxic or anything like that. I'm fine. As he goes for toxic spikes, which I'm not very scared of, to be honest. Uh, I don't know how much speed quillfish runs. I just know that it's a, a toxic spike setter, normally an intimidator. But he has a uh, sash and poison point, I would assume, on this. So I'm gonna go straight for Brave Bird as he explodes. Okay. Well then, maybe I should have roosted. <laughs> I did not know it got explosion, to be completely honest. So he's gonna go into Sneasel here. That's not even, not even like, that's not a question. He, that's, if he doesn't go in his, there we go, thank you. So, uh, yeah, I don't have anything for Sneasel. Holy crap. Sneasel and Weavile are incredible mods at the moment in their respective tiers. So he goes down and attack, he goes, gets, he goes for a knockoff actually. He did want to get rid of those, um, those what, what was I saying? I don't know man, but uh, I want to pull a double switch here, but I'm actually just going to click heal though. I want to pull a double expecting him to go into his Amoongus to absorb whatever attack I want to go in here, as he actually does go into Amoongus, but uh, I'm still in a decent position. So what I'm going to do, I could go back into Golbat. I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to go back into Golbat, see if he decides to do the same thing. Okay, he decided not to, um, whatchamacallit, he decided not to predict me. So what I, he can't actually switch back into Sneasel. It's incredibly frail and I'm pretty sure it's life warped. So if he, he doesn't want to take a Brave Bird, he wants a free switch in. And Amoongus can't do much to me 1v1. So honestly, this is actually, uh, Golbat is very important to keep him around. All right, good thing, good thing I noticed that. Um, it's actually, it would actually be in my best interest to keep Obama Snow at a good amount too. Uh, just because Golbat doesn't really, <laughs> well, Golbat and Amoongus don't appreciate it at all. He's gonna go for foul play here. Okay. Well, I'm actually, I'll just roost here. Thank you. <laughs> Giving me a free roost. Uh, unless he's trying to bait me to roost, in which case he goes back into Sneasel. Okay, never mind, he went to Yuxi. Um, I'm not too scared of Yuxi, to be honest. So I'm actually gonna go with Christina here. As he goes for not, oh gosh. I got a crit. You know, sometimes it's just not your day, you know? <laughs> um, I don't, necessarily, I don't really need her to win. I don't need, well, there is an Amoongus on the squad. Don't know what I, 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 I really didn't expect this easy to carry Nog off, to be honest. Uh, but I didn't, again, I don't know anything <laughs> right now. So, do I click Hyper Voice for damage or do I switch out? That's the question. Um, Rapier might actually be a safe option right now. Let's do that. As he actually goes into Sneasel, that made zero sense at all, unless he was predicting that. At the same time, he can't kill me with any one move, so I'm just gonna click Rock Blast here. As he goes for Fake Out, that did nothing, I, I literally just got my HP back. But that does prove that he is not, um, he has Focus Sashed. So I'm gonna go for Rock Blast here. Icicle Crash is gonna do a good amount, hopefully I hit this Rock Blast. It actually goes for low kick instead. Okay, well, Sneasel's gone, and I might as well, I might have just won the game. Right there. That was not the best option in the world. In fact, I think that was actually probably the worst thing he could have done in that moment. As all I had to do is switch back into my Gramble, and I'm perfectly fine. Once again, uh, I can't switch into Mama Snow safely. I'm just gonna go bad again. He goes for Toxic makes, uh, that wasn't the greatest thing, especially since I really, honestly, Golbat was what I switched in earlier. Uh, when you see someone making repeat plays like that, you definitely predict against it. 
in the future unless they start getting in your mind and whatnot. So I'm gonna go for Super Fang here in case he doesn't have it. Um, matter of fact, oh, I should have roosted. Oh well. Okay, we both have Super Fang, so this is gonna be a very annoying stall war for a second. All right, so he's gonna go for Super Fang here. Meloetta doesn't care, so I'm gonna go into Meloetta here. And I click Psychic. Cool. Thank you. All right, Psychic won't KO, but it'll put me in an okay position. Um, I could all, uh, yeah, I was gonna switch to Hyper Voice real quick. It's fine though. Can I get the drop? Nope, all right. I don't need Meloetta to win this game anymore because of the fact that Sneasel, well, actually she does a really good job now that Sneasel's gone. Um, what should I do? I don't know. Go away. Oh, fly. Let's do fly. Alright, uh, I'm actually safe against the mons that he has for me, so... For the most part, anyways. Meloetta would be a nice option to have late game. Uh, i really, really fighting myself right now. I don't know what to do. No, I'm just gonna sack her. See how much... 39% uh, is fine. Goes for knockoff. Alright, so... Honestly... I'm not in the worst position, but well, I'm not in the greatest position at the same time. I could... Hmm. I don't know what I want to do here at the moment. I'm going to go right here, here, here. Stealth Rock. As he pulls a switch into his Amoongus, which I can then go into my Golbat, and then Roost. As he actually goes for Toxic here, I'm not really scared of that, to be honest. It doesn't bother me at all. Alright, one thing I can't do at this moment is go into my... Yeah, is go into Golbat, because I want to get my EVL Light knocked off right now. To be honest, losing Meloetta did make this a little bit harder, but I do understand the outcome. Uh, Rhyperior needs to be okay later on. I go into Gramble here, just because if he knocks off or whatever, I'm perfectly fine with that. So, I did lose my leftovers early in the game, didn't I? Yeah, leftovers was knocked off. Oh, that's cool. I didn't. I never noticed that before. That it shows you something was knocked off or whatever. I'm gonna go for Heal Bell as he goes into his Aromatis. I'm gonna roar out Aromatis. Nah, 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 nah. Let's go into. Matter of fact, Golbat walls this. If it's a if it's a um defensive set, Golbat absolutely does not care. Um. Because it's not, it's going to just go for, uh, whatchamacallit. Hmm. Yeah, Brave Bird's not going to take out Uxie anytime soon. So, a combination of Super Fang plus Brave Bird should be, able, should be enough to take out his Amoongus and his Golbat after Rocks. Um, and as far as Uxie goes, Uxie is a problem right now. A problem that was not remedied by, uh, which, what's her name? Alright, so what can I do here? Uh... Should I just click Brave Bird? Expecting to switch into Golbat, okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. This is going to end up being a really long stall type battle, and that's so unfortunate because it's going to take up the entire session. At least the entire part one, which sucks. Alright, what do we want to do here? I think I'll just roost. As he goes for Defog. Fine with that. So he's gonna go for Super Fang here. I'm gonna go for my own Super Fang. And I'm gonna pull the switch into my Jolteon. Because he can't take another combination of my Jolt of my um, Brave Bird and Super Fang. So he's gonna want to roost here. As he actually misses the Super Fang. Okay. I am in a great position now. That was a good play on his part. To be honest, he, that was a decent play on his part because putting Jolteon at half would actually give him a really nice advantage. But he's gonna go into Mugus here and take only 24. Jeez, man. He took nothing from that. But now I get to go into my Obama Snow and do tons of damage to whatever I want. And. What, what's, what, what is my investment on this? I have, yeah, I have way more special attack. Alright, Blizzard should be able to, take, to get the job done. Gone! Okay. We made progress. That was the best thing that could have happened to me in that moment. Getting into a bomb of snow and having it take out that thing. I don't even know why that was a question. 399 special attack, stab, uh, on in the Moongus, you know. Don't even know why I was questioning it. Um, 
Aromatisse isn't living this plus Ice Shard. Oh, you're going for Toxic. That didn't make any sense, but you know. That's fine. It's fine. That is a-okay. I'm going to go for Blizzard again. Don't know why you didn't protect there. Unless you don't have it. Well, it's a Toxic Wish, Aromatherapy, Moonblast? Oh, okay. Maybe that. Don't, don't know why. You know what? Just to be safe, I'm going to Rhyperior here. Cool. I just won the game. That's fine. Life is good. I want to be cheeky and click Earthquake for no reason. <laughs> just because I want to show him that I predicted the roost. But, you know, it's fine. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm doing that next turn. Oh. Well, he predicted my prediction. Welp. Hmm. Should I predict him again? I mean, I can, if I really want to. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go on Jolteon. I'm safe. As he goes for Super Fang again, and he just sealed his fate with this. Uh, should I just signal beam? As Yuxi switches in? Nah, I'm just gonna full switch out. I win the game anyways, but like, come on. Come on, Mal. I mean, I, I should have seen that, the roost, the roost play coming in uh, from a mile away. But, you know, it's cool. Go into Pitbull, featuring Pitbull, the Grand Bull. Uh, it'll probably take two play refs. But I'll be fine. As he goes for knockoff, so I guess that's his only offensive move. So yeah, see? Two hits. Two hits. So if that takes three hits, we're fighting. We will fight right here, right now. This goes for Protect so that he can get another hit off. Don't even know why you're protecting, you're just prolonging the inevitable. I mean, I've done that before, and it's just, it's really frustrating and annoying, but oh my gosh, I got a crit. Alright, will an Earthquake kill? Aww. Nah, I'm sad. I'm going Jolteon. Okay, I can stand in T-Bolt now. Good game. Good game. It was not worth the effort. <laughs> Alright, where are we at? Where are we at? We're at, we're at 17 minutes. Alright, so we'll do one more. And then we'll move on. So that was probably the worst 5-0 of my career. <laughs> eh. Oh, he left before I typed it. No, okay. You know, you know it's fine. It's fine. I, I didn't think it was a good game either. <laughs> Let me stop. Did pretty well. Dodging that Super Fang earlier with uh, Timothy there actually helped me out quite a bit. So, now we're against a team that looks incredibly annoying. It looks like a banded Tyrantium with a Spex Typhlosion with a Trapper uh, Dug Trio, a bulky Jellicent, a bulky Yuxi, and a Rapid Spin Foresight Toxic, uh, whatchamacallit, Hitmon Top. This could actually be very annoying for me, but if I didn't have my, at least if I didn't have my universal lead, Jolteon. No, I'm just kidding, that's not a universal lead. There's a freaking Dugtrio on the other side. I could lead Granville, but if he leads with, if he, hmm. I'm gonna lead Rhyperior, just because if he doesn't lead, okay, cool, that's actually perfect for me. Because even if he wants to go for, um, even if he has entire grass, yeah, that's what I was expecting. Uh, but even if he does, if, even though he does, it doesn't kill because of solid rock and the fact that I am really sad now. Um, definitely choice of some sort, so I'm going to Obama Snow. Yeah, that, I think that might be specs. I mean, yeah, it was a crit, but still. Uh, let's go for Giga Drain. I feel like that's my best option in this situation. I could also go for Ice Shard just in case he's not choice. He might be bluffing us, Garf. Okay, cool. Okay, Giga Dream was fine, to be honest. Dead at 41. Alright, I'm pleased with that damage, to be honest. Alright, so leftovers, which means that you're not going to be doing tons of damage to me. But at the same time, I do just want to save it for later, so I'm going to Gramble here. Um, I can heal Bell if he goes for Toxic or whatnot. Uh, Matter of fact, I could actually just go straight in the Golbat here. Yeah, let's do that. My dad's home, so I'm gonna have to end after this battle. As he goes for close combat. Nice. Alright, so I'm gonna go for... 
I'm actually going to double out into my Gramble as he switches into Tyrantrum to take on my Golbat. So hopefully that pays off for me. Uh, as he goes for Typhlosion. Um, this next play is super risky because I don't know what to do here. I'm going to lose something. Oh wait, no, I've got a Meloetta. What the hell am I talking about? Nothing. No, I'm just kidding. That did way too much. But still, nothing. Alright, let's go for a... Psychic. Can't click hyper... What the fuck? Alright, you know what? That's fine. That is so fine. I am fan I'm sensational right now. I'm going go for Ice Shard. One second. Okay, so I got called away to do some stuff, so I do apologize. Um, I'm gonna click Ice Shard here. I played into his hands a little bit around his Tyrantrum earlier, and uh, that was my mistake. But it's perfectly fine. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do here, though. I'm pretty sure I just lose to Yuxi. And it's because, like, I was distracted, and, like, timer and stuff like that started happening, and. Uh, you know, it happens. Feels bad, man. So he actually goes for U turn here, so he's probably gonna wanna pull a switch into his. If he goes into anything other than Jellison, he just loses the game. That's actually oh well, Typhlosion was fine too. Tyrantrum's at a very healthy HP though, so I yeah, I'm just gonna lose to um, Tyrantrum, unfortunately, which sucks. Or I have to sacrifice Gold Bat. Oh, he went for Dragon Claw. Welp. Oh wait, that. Doesn't make a difference for me. Because actually, I can go into Obama Stone really safely after this. And let's click Giga Drain. <sighs> hopefully, hopefully. Oh man. I should have clicked Ice Shard. Oh well. I went down fighting. Actually, wait, it depends on the amount of damage that Yuxi can do to me, because Tyrantium is- yeah. Should've clicked Ice Shard, that was my fault there. I wanted to click Geek Drain, predicting the switch into Jellicent, but, you know, that happened. If I get a T-Bolt Para, and then, <laughs> that would be great, because I would just win the game. Aw. Aw. Wait. Single Beam done more? It should. I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. Oh, fuck! Alright, well, uh... That's the end of the game. <laughs> misclicks, boys, misclicks. Alright, we'll be back with the part two some other time. I'll be back later, whenever.